May 12th is International Nurses Day, but working conditions for nurses in Taiwan remain as difficult as ever. A nurses union has pointed the finger at hospitals, which are accused of splitting up shifts to force nurses to remain on call during their rest periods. Over 70% of nurses now work overtime on a daily basis. Amendments to the Labor Standards Act, which took effect in 2014, placed legal limits on nurses' working hours. Despite the additional protections, hospitals have continued to indiscriminately rearrange nurses' shifts in a bid to reduce costs. If you work eight hours per day, the hospital will divide your shift into two parts, with an intervening period of up to six hours. If you live far away and the hospital doesn't give you anywhere to rest, it's as if you're still working. Though nursing staff have so far accommodated hospitals' flexible shift scheduling, on-call periods between their shifts are not calculated as working hours, which is equivalent to forced overtime. An investigation by the Taiwan Nurses Union found that almost 70 percent of nurses work overtime every day, with the weekly working hours of almost 80 percent exceeding the legal maximum of 40 hours. Despite all the extra hours, only about 30 percent of nurses receive pay for their overtime. Inspectors should be accompanied by representatives from the Nurses Union. Over the last year or two, we've been pushing a draft amendment to the Labor Standards Act, and we've consulted EU regulations to set a clearly defined standard for an appropriate rest period, which is not less than 11 hours. Legislators called on the Ministry of Health and Welfare to incorporate inspections of working conditions into their hospital evaluation procedure in order to put a stop to further exploitation of nurses.